Mitt Romney wrote this op-ed uh, trying to appeal to people in Michigan. Of course, the primary is coming up on February 28th, uh, saying, oh, I'm a son of Detroit. And what he neglected to mention is that, yes, he was born in Detroit, and then immediately his family moved out to one of the richest zip codes in the entire country. It's not like him and Eminem grew up in the same neighborhood, okay? No, he was in Bloomfield. So anyway, uh, not a big deal. We get it, he's rich, and that's fine, okay? That's not the main issue. The main issue in the op-ed is, he says, oh, if we'd only done uh, the bailouts the way I wanted to uh, for GM and Chrysler, everything would be better now. What do you mean the way you wanted to? What, 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 what do you mean? You wrote an editorial back in 2008, said, let them go bankrupt. No, but that's literally what you said, let them go bankrupt. He says, I, I, I didn't mean bankrupt, bankrupt. I meant a managed bankruptcy. Okay, all right, I'll hear you out. What was it? Well, he says, look, uh, instead of the government coming in with all this money, uh, what should have happened is private equity should have come in, private investors, and, and bought these companies, and then bring them out of bankruptcy, and now they'd be even better shape. First of all, they're making record profits, so I don't know how much they better shape they could be in, right? Uh, second of all, unemployment went from 14% to 9% in Michigan. Third of all, uh, economists say that if we had let them actually go bankrupt, we'd have lost 1.3 million jobs. But now Mitt Romney claims he could have done better, okay? So the question is, is this uh, at all feasible that they could have gone through some sort of managed bankruptcy? Here's what ev every expert in the field says, not even close. Here's uh, AutoNation CEO Mike Jackson. He says that his piece was, quote, truly reckless, detached from reality, and dishonest. Mitt's assertion that private financing DIP was available in the fall of 08 and into 09 is a fantasy. By the way, in the half a dozen articles I read on this from experts, analysts, reporters, and, and some uh, Republicans, okay, uh, they all, the, the one word they used the most was fantasy. <laughs> this idea that private equity was going to come in at a time when no one would touch these companies is an utter fantasy. Now, here's Yahoo uh, Autos reporter Justin Hyde. Romney's take just doesn't square with the facts as I live them. Had the government not intervened as Romney suggests, GM and Chrysler likely would have been liquidated by their Wall Street bondholders. Now, remember, Mitt Romney worked in private equity. Like, he doesn't know that? Like, at the time, he was so unsavvy that he couldn't tell that nobody in private equity would actually buy these companies and then have them continue to exist, not just sell off their parts? Come on. But if you're still not convinced by all these guys, how about The Economist? The Economist is well known uh, for their uh, editorials being conservative. And in fact, throughout their editorial here, they're like, look, I, could there have been a better way to do the bailout? Maybe there could have been, I don't know, maybe the unions got too much. They're trying to find a way to blame Obama anyway. But their conclusion, quote, the credit markets were bone dry making the privately financed bankruptcy that Mr. Romney favored improbable. He conveniently ignores this bit of history in claiming to have been right all along. If the Economist editorial board is saying, Mitt Romney, come on, this is even too much for you. It is an utter fantasy that somehow Mitt Romney and his idea of letting those companies go bankrupt would have been the better way to go. By the way, don't get me wrong, the, this uh, bailout is not without its faults. Yesterday we covered this on the TV show, current at 7 o'clock, if you didn't know. Um, 4.4 billion of the money has just been uh, written off already of our bailout. And there's another 23 billion in stock that we hold that we have to sell gradually. If we sold it now, we'd lose another 10 billion. But the price of those stocks continues to rise, generally speaking. And so we're holding, it on, uh, holding on to them and selling them off slowly. So because if we sell them all off at the same time, then uh, the price could plummet and then we get less back, right? But it's not without its cost. It definitely is. It's not a, it's not a black and white issue. Now, having said that, it, it, I, th I agree with all these reporters saying that, my God, if we didn't do it, not only would we have near possibly 20% unemployment in Michigan, but those things would cascade throughout the country, uh, the consequences of this, and God knows what kind of depression we could have sunk into.